Okay, throughout the stops you've made along the Discovery Trail, you've had the chance to see many variety of leaf shapes, leaf textures, and leaf arrangements. Have you started wondering why? Have you started to try to understand why the leaves do what they do? If you're here on a winter's day, I'll bet you're wearing pants and a jacket. But if you're here on a hot summer day, it's shorts, a t-shirt, and a little cap for you, okay? Leaves do much the same and plants adjust much the same to a constantly changing climate we now are in and a constantly changing environment. In order to survive and thrive, plants have the ability to change not only the shape of their leaf, but also the texture and the arrangement. If it's a long-term change, we call that an adaptation. If it's merely a short-term change, we call it a simply altered modification. The example on the Discovery Trail of a plant that can change its leaf shape is the lemonade berry. The lemonade berry is able to change its leaf from a horizontal position to a vertical position in order to help reduce water loss. By changing its leaf shape, plants are able to extend into new ranges and areas. Measuring plant shape variation allows for scientists to predict the outcomes of species in new areas and with new climates. Over the course of this challenge, you've learned about biodiversity. Remember, biodiversity is the variety that you have species. Why is that important? First of all, if there's a disease or some kind of climate change coming along, some of the species will survive. Climate change, another important concept. Why is that important here? Well, it affects our keystone species, the Torrey Pines tree. If we have drought years many times in a row, they can't produce the sap to, produce, to, to get the beetles to leave um, the bark and they die. That's why we have these black funnels around um, the park so that you can, uh, we're monitoring them. Drought deciduous. Now drought deciduous is a pretty cool topic. That means the plants can lose their leaves during the summertime. Why is that cool? Well, think of a, a bear. What do they do? During the winter, they go into the, the ground and, and hibernate, but plants can't do that. They're six months without rain, so they have to drop their leaves. It'd be like us walking outside and all of a sudden getting rid of our hair, like that one. Sustainability extremely important. We need to be prepared for future generations. Food, uh, water, shelter. Let me give you an example. When we go by these canyons and we see these homes on the ridges, we think, oh, that's really cool. Well, guess what? There are some species of birds that will not even fly over the houses to go to the next canyon to feed. And so they're now pigeonholed into their own canyon. We have to keep that in mind when we're designing cities. All this brings us to the most important concept being a good steward. You know, we're the protectors. We are the caretakers of this planet. So when you're here at Torrey Pines, what can you do? Stay on the trails, follow the signs, see any trash, pick it up. But most of all, just care and be aware.